really the result of the work is material. And so it's always been my challenge to use the influence of chemistry and forgotten materials to um, challenge the dematerialization of that art object. My name is Jay Hikes. I was born in Princeton, New Jersey, and I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The reoccurring themes in my work are always comedy that comes from existential theater and sort of a deadpan comedy, music or sound in the way that you can take a two-dimensional text, like reading music, and make it this three-dimensional thing, and then uh, alchemy. But I see them as all related with my dad as a chemist. What interests me about working across a diverse array of media is the possibilities that come from joining disparate materials and doing nature's work uh, in, a, in a sort of silly way that's not practiced, that's not concise, that's not refined, and the unexpected things that can come out of all of those hybrid sort of combinations. Things from bismuth to steel slag to aluminum, glue, leather, uh, salt, all of these just kind of like basic things, but when they come together, they do something uh, kind of magical. So like, you know, copper can conduct and asphaltum is a very particular brown. And then slag, I mean, you know, in the paintings and in the sculptures, it's so that it'll rust and, you know, get that perfect sort of brownish corrosion, you know, just working in that periodic table and then bringing that into the studio. I went to Marfa in the, for the Chinati residency in the, the January and February of 2017. I could sort of scavenge for materials, think about the studio as an uh, internal space and then that Marfa landscape as external space that I was always trying to get to through the work so that the paintings became like this frame of a window or a door that I always had to fight against to get to the landscape. And also being down there, all I could think about were, was snakes and this idea of like, you know, the snake and the way that it goes forward by going backwards and sideways was a good uh, sort of an analogy of how to work. And also with the sculptures, I mean, thinking about them like the, the fences for the rancher's land, um, and then the way that it would collect all the tumbleweeds, and I think that affected the form of the sculptures. There was something so barren about that landscape that really felt just right for that moment. You know, it was made in the maelstrom of the 2016 election. And so, again, I came back to alchemy as sort of a way to fight that, or this cauldron of difference being able to exist side by side. But I think formally, there's the wreckage of that moment. This show, it's the first show that's not felt tense to me. Like it's felt very uh, open and playful and there's a curiosity to it. And so you have to kind of be in the space with the materials to feel that spirituality, which is what Absara made me realize when we were talking about the show was how important all of this range of materials was as though you could create a, cos a cosmos of objects and materials. And I think it's gonna like really change the way I work from now on.